Continuing with my Star Wars reviews is Star Wars Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. After the Rebels have been brutally overpowered by the Empire on their newly established base, Luke Skywalker takes advanced training with a powerful Jedi named Yoda, while his friends are being pursued by Darth Vader in a plan to capture Luke Skywalker. Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back takes everything that made the Star Wars A New Hope such a great film. Great effects for its time of its release, appealing characters, and a lot of great action. But what The Empire Strikes Back does better than A New Hope is it makes a more tighter storyline and goes much deeper deeper into its character development. All the characteristics from the characters from the first film and some new characters in The Empire Strikes Back are still there, but they're much deeper and we get to understand a lot of these characters. I think one character that we get to understand a little bit more is Han Solo. In the first film, he spoke the truth, you know, he was all about money and he kind of had this awkward relationship with Leia and Luke. He wanted to help them, but he also wanted a lot of the money in the situation. Here he's drawn back into helping this crew and his relationship with Leia it goes much deeper than the first one did. And this is how a relationship is done. George Lucas should have done what this relationship did between Han and Leia in the prequels with Anakin and Padme because that relationship was messy. Here you can tell they kind of hate each other, but they love each other at the same time. It's that love-hate relationship, and it's so fun to watch. They're bickering back and forth of calling each other names, and you know, if I left, you would miss me, princess. The dialogue between them is just so amazing, and it's just so fun to watch. The action sequences in this movie are a lot better than the first one. They're, the first one was really good, too, but here they're a lot better. They're more tense and more suspenseful. We get, the, we get the battle scene on Hoth that was a lot of fun, a lot of wide angles, and then you get probably the best action scene or suspenseful scene in any movie is between Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. Sitting down and watching it again, I was just so drawn into this fight scene. I love the lighting, it's dark, you got that tinted color, and the way they go about fighting each other is just so suspenseful. Luke continues his great characteristics that friends are very important. And I like to see him when he is with Yoda training and he has to go back to save his friends. He's not giving into the Force, it's showing that he has more important things. Even though the, the Force is something that he needs to do his training on, we also get, like I said, the introduction of Yoda, which is so fun to watch. I love the little guy. He adds for a lot of comic relief, but also is so mysterious. And yet with his small size and his crazy antics, you believe that he is an all-powerful master Jedi. Like I said in the beginning, the storyline is a bit deeper. Star Wars A New Hope was a simple film, but here there's so much going on. A lot of battles are happening within the first 30 minutes. People are in pursuit of each other. There's a lot of relevation and a lot of secrecy in the past of Darth Vader. And some of the questions that you had in Star Wars A New Hope were answered in Empire Strikes Back, but it does also bring more questions that we want to know for the Return of the Jedi. So the Empire Strikes Back I thought had better characters this time around. They were more they were much more deeper and had a deeper Titan storyline. That was very interesting, intriguing, got you locked right off the bat, which Star Wars Episode 4 New Hope did as well, got you locked right in the beginning. This one did too. The battle sequences and the lightsaber fight between Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker were so suspenseful. Edge of your seat stuff, it was amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and give Empire Strikes Back an A+. And I realize I didn't give the grade for New Hope, I would give that one an A+, as well. So this is Just Watch Movies with his review of Star Wars Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. Leading up to Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, this is Just Watch Movies, and may the Force be with you.